Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video where we are continuing with the model paper solutions of uh, technological innovation and uh, management entrepreneurship, which is the first subject of uh, which is the first subject of uh, uh, fifth sem EC students. Okay, the the exams are approaching near, so you should be uh, learning uh, with a speed amount. So please do watch this video. Don't skip any part of it. Again, those who have not watched the previous videos of three modules, it is available in my channel. Please go and watch it. Okay. So let us continue with module four, model paper solutions. First question is seven A. Explain the problems faced by small scale industries. That is the SSIs. What and all are the problems faced by them? Okay. So this is what flowchart I have mentioned it here. The problems faced by the small scale industries. Okay. Okay. Uh, in a beautiful way, I have tried to present it to you all. Problems faced by small scale industries are financial problems, lack of skilled labor. Okay, financial problems is stable finance, uh, some uh, uh, stable amount of finance is not there. Okay, so uh, capita income is not there. Lack of skilled labor. Okay, the skills, uh, the lab, uh, the laborers are not skilled. So if you don't have any skill set among you, so the it, it is difficult for you to grow any small scale industry. Marketing issues. Okay. So the market ups and downs, uh, it is very difficult to manage. So that's one more thing. Technological challenges. Okay. As you know that the technology is improving a lot day by day. So it is difficult for small scale industry to survive under this technological influence. Okay. Raw material storage. Okay. Uh, or raw material shortage. Uh, shortage of raw materials is a huge, huge uh, myth. Uh, sorry. Huge, huge problem for a small scale industry because uh, uh, they deal with this in a, in their daily lives. Okay. If there is shortage of raw materials, the uh, uh, to grow a small scale industry it would be very difficult. Regulatory issues, infrastructure problems, etc. These things uh, they are faced by small scale industries. Okay, the explanation is provided here. Financial problems. Okay, you can go through the explanation. Lack of skilled labor, marketing issues, technological challenges, raw material shortage, regulatory issues. Infrastructure problems. Okay, all of these explanations you can note it down here. Okay, pause the video and refer it. Next question explain financial feasibility and technical feasibility. Okay, these two, these two questions are this question is very important. So, I guess this question might be coming for the exam. Explain financial feasibility and technical feasibility. Okay, financial feasibility uh, it refers to the process of uh, assessing the financial aspects of a uh, Long run, it involves uh, analyzing the costs, uh, revenue funding, uh, and profitability to ensure project that can be financed and generate uh, or uh, return on investment. Okay, key elements of financial feasibility are it uh, uh, it requires the uh, initial capital, uh, the revenue project uh, projections. Okay, revenue projections, cost estimation. Okay, uh, profitability analysis, funding requirements, financial risks. Okay, why it is important? So they mentioned it. Why it is important? It ensures that the business idea is economically viable and can generate profits. It helps identify potential financial risks and prepares the business to address them. It provides a clear roadmap for funding and resource allocation. So for this case, it is important. Okay, so please you know, note it down. Next is technical feasibility. It assesses uh, the technological uh, and operational capabilities required to implement a business idea. It involves uh, evaluating whether the necessary technology, equipment, expertise, and resources are available to successfully carry out the project. Okay, so these are the key elements here of feasibility. You can note it down. That is, first is uh, technology requirements. Okay, then we have skill and expertise, equipment and infrastructure. So please note it down. Production capability, operational processes, along with the explanation is provided. So please uh, go through it. Then why it is important? Also, they mentioned it. Uh, it ensures technical capabilities required for uh, the business, uh, whether they are in place and can be successfully utilized. Or, okay. The technical capabilities means uh, the technically the the company should be sound and it should not be having any misfits uh, within it. So in order to make it a smooth business, so please. Uh, this uh, in this way it is important. It helps to identify potential technological limitations that may hinder project success. So please, this is the answer. Please note it down. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एट ए एक्सप्लेन द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड डब्ल्यू टी ओ ऑन स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया तो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन इज प्रोवाइडेड इन माई इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सेट ओके वेर आई प्रोवाइडेड ईच मॉड्यूल फिफ्टी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ऑल द फाइव मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट सो अगेन दो नॉट वॉच दैट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट इट इज अवेलेबल इन आर चैनल ओके इन दैट ऑल्सो आई मैंशन दिस क्वेश्चन वुड बी अपियरिंग सो इन मॉडल पेपर ऑल्सो सी दिस क्वेश्चन एज कम सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज नोट इट डाउन Impact of globalization and WTO on small-scale industries in India. Globalization and the World Trade Organization have had significant impact on uh, SSIs in India, influencing both opportunities and challenge. Okay, some of the positive impacts are access to worldwide markets, improved quality standards, uh, technology transfer, and uh, some of the negative impacts are tighter patent laws and the TRIPS agreement. Okay, uh, along with the explanation, they have mentioned it. okay the trip the trips stands for trade related aspects of intellectual property rights okay this is the full form of trips okay very important agreement intensified domestic competition increased imports of high quality goods etc okay so these are the points next question what factors contribute to creating favorable business opportunities in india okay write any 6 to 7 points i have around 10 points here so write any 6 to 7 points is uh, well and good first point is democratic governance and legal system next is established banking and financial system along with the explanation it's available so please uh, go through it and uh, learn it learn and uh, sorry large and growing middle class population strong regional trade links competitive adma- uh, advantage in labor economic reforms and uh, investment friendly policies etc okay so there are some other points so yeah that's all for this video guys i've tried to cover uh, Uh, four questions uh, 7a 7b 8a 8b from this module so with the solutions it's uh, i provide try to provide it and this pdf uh, would be uploaded in the description within a short amount of time or within within tomorrow morning that pdf uh, dis- uh, link will be available in the description so now it is not available because i'm working on it of on of how to create that into link okay so please uh, uh, if you want to study now pause, uh, pause the video take the screenshots and study it okay so that's all for this video guys uh, we have one more video left of module 5 that we are going to cover in the next session like share subscribe to the channel exams are approaching near so watch these videos and uh, score good marks in the exam all the best okay thank you